Let's go through the two sides, how they will line up this afternoon here for the York City Knights. Ash Robson at fullback, wing free quarter line, Ben Kakane, the Scottish international, Will Oaks, Brad Hay and Kieran Moss, who recently joined the club on Thursday evening on a one-month loan from Hulkingston Rovers. The half-back pairing, Connor Robinson and Mary Marsh, the Hulkingston Rovers Young Player of the Year for last season. The front row forwards then for the York City Knights, Adam Robinson, Andy Ellis, Graham Horn, Joe Batchelor, Sam Scott and the loose forward, the skipper for York, is Tim Spears. On the interchange bench, Will Jubb, Joe Porter, Chris Siddons and Ronan Dixon. For the Bradford Bulls, John Keir's first side as they look to get life underway in League One. Greg McNally at fullback, wing free quarter line, Dalton Grant, Ash Gibson, Lee Smith and Ethan Ryan. In at the halves is Joe Keyes and Elliot Minchella. The front row forwards, Steve Crossley, Sam Hallis, Liam Kirk and the back rowers, Matt Garside, Liam Johnson and George Milton, the loose forward who actually had a game here at the York City Knights last season on dual reg. And John Keir, a strong interchange bench of Peltier, Halafihi, Pickersgill and Wood. We're just going to see Jeff Price, the former York legend, hand the match ball to Connor Robinson the referee, it's the London-based Australian Matt Rossley. He was in charge of Featherstone Lions against Fato Heath in the Challenge Cup second round last weekend. This, his biggest appointment to date. Connor Robinson then, ball on the halfway line. York will go from right to left. Bradford will attack the stand that's currently closed. And the season opener here in the Betfred. League One season is underway as Robinson's kickoff is taken by McNally. And immediately McNally gives it to Crossley. And Crossley's brought down by three York City Knights defenders. And early doors, Bradford appealing for a penalty for a high tackle, non forthcoming. And two tackles gone. They find themselves just outside the road 10. The Welsh international, Dalton Grant, Maisie run out of dummy half, goes nowhere. His run extinguished. Bradford, three tackles gone. Good, solid pressure early doors from the, the York City Knights as Hallis gives the ball to Kirk. Fourth tackle gone. And Bradford, they're up to their own 30. 20 shy of the halfway line. They're going to go back down the middle. Hallis to Crossley. And the former Toronto man is upended and he's brought down 15 shy. Centre of the field. Last tackle. Ball goes to Keyes, one of the Bradford pivots, but he's gone straight there down the front. And Keyes is going to be brought down. Out of dummy half from Andy Ellis. Ellis, as York look to open the score win with Kieran Moss in the corner. Valiant defensive tackle there from Dalton Grant. He's the pressure is on, early doors, every point potentially going to count this afternoon strikes it with a left boot that one is going to sail between the posts over the black dot the touch judges flags confirm the extra two points and all in all last tackle says referee Matt Rossley Bradford once again 10 metres out pink point kick from Keys. it's landed to Gibson Gibson's going to score Bradford have the first try and the fireworks go off behind the stand it's six points to four York aggrieved about the decision they're saying it's come off a Bradford hand and it was promoted forward Spears the skipper for the Knights quick play the ball as it goes from Jubb and uh, Jubb to Scott good interlinking play he's brought down in a two man tackle led by Minchella and Smith it's the last tackle Robinson has it he looks for the kick and now the referee Matt Rossley is going to penalise Garside Hallis and Minchella has got a try kick five from five in that famous win against the Toronto Wolfpack he's on point again this afternoon two from two and it's wiggling his way forward wrapped up on tackle number four 15 metres inside the York Half, centre field, here goes Keyes through a gap, Keyes inside support from Michella, the balls are going to cut open, the York City Knights just before half time, and Elliot Michella who scored two tries in the pre-season has opened his account for 2018, 
We're all locked up at Bootham Crescent. On the inside in support, and Keys missed with the earlier conversion to Gibson. Strikes this one perfectly between the posts, over the black dot. 39 minutes gone on the stopwatch here at Bootham Crescent. In this Betfred League One opener. Drive brought down in a three man tackle. The penalty count, incidentally, two penalties apiece, just four penalties all game. As Mikey Wood trying to get that ball carrying arm to reach out and touch down, but Will Jub coming all over. Here goes Crossley! Crossley's going to batter arm his way. The Bulls have further extended the lead. It's a third try. And the 27-year-old, his third spell at the Bulls. And the former Clayton amateur is dancing with delight in front of the travelling hordes. The Bulls a two-score advantage, an eight-point cushion right in front of the sticks. There's no Don Fox moment here at Boovham Crescent. And it is the Bradford Bulls, 16, the York City Knights, eight. And as John Keir has said, Prior to the game, every tackle number four. Manny Marsh, out of dummy half. Picked up perfectly there. Here go the York City Knights. The pass by Joe Butcher. Joe Batchelor, sorry. And Joe Batchelor's going to go 40 metres. Rugby from the York City Knights. We're approaching the hour mark here. 20 minutes remaining. It's been attritional. It's York 12. Bradford 16, Crossley and Milton in defence and now the Bradford Bulls are going to get the penalty from the referee for not playing the ball correctly. On proper sport and Keyes lines up the kick. Joe Keyes meticulous in his composure, looks at the ball, draws that imaginary line. Joe Keyes gives the Bradford Bulls an extra two points on the scoreboard and it is now the York City Knights 12, the Bradford Bulls 18. Pair here, it could be in for a grandstand finish. Dixon gets to his feet, plays the ball, Robinson to Marsh, Marsh to Moss, Moss wrapped up 10 metres out on this main stand side, Marsh out of dummy half, He's going to attack Garside and Kirk and he's brought down two metres shy of the Bradford Bulls try line. Ellis in there at dummy half, options to the left. He's going to find Batchelor. Joe Batchelor's in for the double. Robinson with the left boot. No mistake, three from four attempts. Exactly 70 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. It's 18 points apiece. Connor Robinson off the left boot. The drop goal is good. 4,328 announced the PA announcer. That beats the 3,224 that were in the old Huntington Stadium in 2005. Here goes Peltier. Past the halfway line. Penalty to the Bradford Bulls. The ball's been stolen. The referee in the David Longhurst stand behind the sticks. They will suck this one over. It's between the posts. Bradford Bulls take the lead. This one's going like a hell to skelter. It's now 20 points to 19. On his back. Adam Robinson's calling for the ball. He's limping. Can he strike it again? In front of the sticks. The York fans will tell you that that one is over the sticks. And Tim Spears. Tim Spears is wrapped up. 20 metres out. Last tackle. Back to Robinson. Charged down by Hallis. Hallis has saved the day for the Bulls. The second minute of time added on. The Bulls looking to get in drop goal range. Ted Shire the halfway. Here goes Lee Smith, the old stager, wins a penalty. Chance for the Bulls to win it at the death from 45 metres out. It's looking good. It's there. It's there. The Bulls are going to win it. Look at the scenes at Boothan Crescent. Unbelievable.